talk to you guys. I just finished up my slides for tonight's masterclass on launching unique products and just regular products in e-commerce. So tonight's masterclass, we're going to talk about, um, you know, why launch an e-commerce instead of just going straight to retail and then what e-commerce channels should you consider? And, um, you know, is Amazon the best place for your product? Um, if not, what would be a better channel? How do you decide that? How do you get into it? You know, and then we're going to talk about how I create my social media presence. Um, every time I start a new brand or with the existing brand, if I'm launching a new product, how I make sure that that's good, how I choose social media channels. I'm going to talk through how I choose brand names and the lessons I've learned about choosing brand names. I know Andy and I have talked about this on the podcast, how uh, if we had it to do all over again, we would have made different decisions in the way that we chose our brand names. Um, so I'm going to be talking about that tonight, my process for choosing brand names and helping others choose their brand names. Um, and anyway, one of the biggest questions I get, you know, and since my private label course is all about um, helping people really differentiate their products and develop them. Um, one of the biggest questions I get is, uh, well, Amy, you know, if I make a unique product or I significantly differentiate a product, then no one is searching for that keyword and no one will find my product on Amazon and it won't sell. <laughs> and I, first of all, I'm like, okay, well, wait a minute. If you decided to differentiate a product, didn't you take the time to do the competitive analysis and the market analysis to make sure that your solution to the problem or the need that your customer has is something that they're actually searching for across the internet, right? When we talk about it in our mastermind group and in our course, we talk about, okay, we're making sure that before we start differentiating a product, that people are actually searching for that differentiation, that they are in demand for the differentiation that we're, we're doing. So many people and courses recommend that you just look at bad reviews and you fix the things that are wrong in those bad reviews. But the problem with that is just because people are complaining in bad reviews doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to buy your differentiation, which is the opposite of that bad review. So a better way to do it is to study the market and see what people are looking for. Um, you know, see what they're talking about, see what is trending, and then study the marketplace and find out what is being offered to them and if the two things match up. Um, and so if you do all this work, right, then launching on Amazon is no different than launching any product because you already know people are searching for that product. You already know people are searching for a solution to that problem. So for example, I invented the litter box cleaner, right? There's no other products like that on the market. There's none. There's nothing that does what my product does. There's, there's nothing. You would think, oh my gosh, well, how am I getting traffic to my listing then with people don't even know this product exists? Well, the thing is, people are searching for litter boxes. People are searching for odor-free litter boxes. People are searching for odor solutions. People are searching for litter box scoops. People are searching for all of those things. And guess what? All of those keywords apply to my product. So I can put all of those keywords in my listing and I can advertise against all of those keywords. And the difference between my product standing next to another just standard litter box is in my title and in my photos, I can show how I'm actually solving the customer's problem. So I convert higher. I don't have to give away my products at low prices or freebies just to rank because people say, oh my gosh, you're solving my problem. You're meeting my need. I'm happy to pay full price for that. But if I'm selling one litter scoop of 10,000, well, then I'm in a price war and I'm in a review war and I have to give away a whole bunch of them just to rank. And then when my competitor comes up behind me, they're going to do the exact same thing and I'm in this constant war. So I try really hard when people ask me this question, you know, when they're considering a differentiated or unique product and they say, well, Amy, I'm not going to get any traffic to my listing 
I try really hard to maintain my composure and go, how do you think that product that was featured on Jungle Scout got there? How do you think that that first product to market got there with all those high sales and low competition? It's because that product, whoever made that product studied the market and they were first to market with that unique, awesome opportunity that actually meets customers' needs. So I don't want you guys to be afraid to significantly differentiate a product or to even make a unique product. You know, it, it doesn't really matter. I don't want you to be afraid thinking that, oh my gosh, you know, Amazon, I'm never going to get traffic to my listing if I do that. I have to do this high competition thing instead. Um, so anywho, that's, that's that. Um, so yeah, tonight in our master class, you guys can join us in the mastermind group. It's amazingathome.com slash mastermind. Um, we are talking all about launching. We're talking about how do you launch? Where do you launch? You know, what are the considerations for setting up your social media? What are the considerations for setting up your website? Oh man, I'm going to talk websites tonight. That's another huge question I'm constantly getting. People are like, should I be on Shopify? What about WordPress? What about Magneto? You know, it's like, actually, it really doesn't matter which platform you're on. It matters what your plan is. And then you pick the platform based on that, what meets your plan. So we're going to talk about the different platforms for web hosting and um, different types of e-commerce websites and, and how to um, have our web platforms and how to choose those. And then we're going to talk about launch. I do launch in three phases. Um, the first one, and we've talked about this on the podcast before, but I'm going to get in depth in the masterclass tonight. Um, the first phase of launch is always making sure you have an amazing listing and amazing photos. And the second phase of launch is making sure that um, you get reviews because you need to have that social proof, right? So we're going to talk about really awesome ways to get reviews where you don't have to you know, give away a hundred products and, <laughs> you know, all of that. So we're going to talk about that and how to set that up ahead of time so that you can be super successful the first phase of your launch, um, getting those reviews. And then after you get your reviews, then it's time to actually tell people about it, spread the word, be like, Hey, we have this awesome product here. The listing looks great. The photos look great. The reviews look great. Everything's good. It's time to buy, right? So what, forms of traffic should you be sending to your listing? And so tonight in our masterclass, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about um, the different types of external traffic, organic versus paid, um, what external traffic is right for you and your brand and your products. Um, the most important thing when you're driving external traffic, especially when you're paying for it, is that it converts, right? Because we want to make sure we're making sales. So there's some forms of external traffic like Google ads that have high buyer intent and they work very, very well. And then there's others that sometimes it's best to build up an organic presence. Um, and then influencers, that's a form of external traffic. So we'll be talking about that tonight and, and how to get those influencers and that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, that is that is kind of just a, a synopsis of launch. So you want to do you know, have a great listing, get those reviews, drive the traffic on Amazon PPC and off Amazon external traffic, at least three forms of it. Um, you're going to do that for 14 to 20 days. And then the last step of launching is to optimize. So you're going to optimize everything. You're going to get that customer feedback. You're going to make sure everything's good to go. You're going to optimize and you're going to prepare for your next order. So that's, you know, a very exciting thing to be able to do. Um, so I want to invite you guys to the mastermind group if you're interested in learning some of these things. And then also tomorrow on Seller Roundtable, we are going to have the maker, the creator of Brand Overflow. It's a new tool that allows you to kind of see the way things are searched across the internet. It's free to use for a certain number of searches. So you can check it out. It's kind of like Uber Suggest. So we'll be talking about like, you know, how, how do they get this information? Um, what keywords can we discover that are being searched across the internet? We're just going to kind of do an entrepreneur story um, tomorrow on the Seller Roundtable. So you can sign up for that right now at sellerroundtable.com slash live. Um, you can sign up for the mastermind and get all of this month's classes, all of last month's classes, plus our listing optimization masterclass. 
um, if for $49. And that's at amazingathome.com slash mastermind. Um, so you get all of the replays even if you can't make tonight's class. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope these tips about launching a unique or differentiated product on Amazon helps debunk that myth. And I hope my, my tips on launch have helped you. Feel free to reach out anytime with questions in the Facebook group, Amazing at Home. We'd be happy to have you and answer your questions. When we ask questions, everybody else gets the help that they need. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And we will talk soon. All right. Bye.